we are going to discuss an introductory topic of differential calculus it is called limits of a function see you have a function y equals to f of x limit of a function can be studied or evaluated as the finite real number to which my function is approaching as the value of x is approaching or tending towards a and if it is approaching the function is approaching a real finite number l this l is defined as the limit of the function y equals to f of x as x tends towards a so let's have a look at this in terms of a graph say you have a graph that looks like this this now uh, let me just try and so here i have labeled and marked the x and y axis on the y axis i am denoting the values of the function y equals to f of x this curve represents my function y equals to f of x so as you can see here if you are asked to find the limit as x tends to 2 for the function y equals to f of x uh, where the function is represented by this diagram the way to do it would be as your x is approaching towards 2 the value written over here from the left hand side examine which value is it approaching on the y axis well as you can see on the y axis my function is approaching the value of 5 which is a finite and real number now the same thing as the value of x approaches 2 from the right hand side from the right hand side would mean as you are approaching to from numbers greater than it so you have 2.3 and so on as you are coming closer and closer to 2 but never equal to 2 your function is again approaching or coming closer and closer to y equals to 5 since the limit whether you approach the value 2 from the left hand side or the right hand side is same you will say that the limit x tends to 2 for this function is equal to 5 so remember tends to means you are approaching closer and closer and closer to the number given but never equal to that number so as x is coming closer and closer to 2 in this case my function is coming closer and closer and closer to the real finite number 5 and remember whether you approach the limit from the left hand side or the right hand side your function should be approaching the same number now for the same diagram let me ask you what limit x tends to 6 f of x is now as you can see here at the point x equals to 6 my function is actually not defined it would have been equal to 7 but that circle small circle in the middle shows that there is a gap in the function at that particular point so now let's try and evaluate limit x tends to 6 for this function 
Now as you're approaching it from the left hand side, you can see that my function y equals to f of x is coming closer and closer to the value of 7. Remember this arrow means tends to that is coming closer and closer to the number 6 but it is never equal to 6. Similarly as x is coming closer and closer to the value of 6 from the right hand side my function values are also coming closer and closer and closer to the value of 7. The arrow indicates that it is approaching the number but never equal to the number. Since the left hand side and the right hand side limits are both equal that is whether you approach from the left hand side or the right hand side you are approaching the same number which is 7 which is finite and real you would say that limit x tends to 6 for this function f of x is equal to 7 even though as you can note at x equal to 6 my function is not defined you can see there is a gap in the function now let's contrast this with another graph let's have a look at this function y equals to f of x the graph of which is given on the left hand side suppose i ask you to find the limit as x is tending towards 2 for this function f of x graphically examine as x is approaching 2 from the left hand side what value is the curve of the function approaching as you can see here it is approaching the value of 2 similarly as I am approaching 2 on the x-axis from the right hand side my function since it's parallel to x-axis is still approaching the number 2 as you are approaching from both left hand side and right hand side my function is approaching the same number which is finite and real and equal to 2 so the limit over here as x tends to 2 for this function is 2. Now if I ask you to check the limit of the same function for x tending towards 3, let's have a look at what happens. I'll just clear a few things so that it's uh, neater. Right. Now as x is approaching 3, what value is my function approaching? As you can see, when you're approaching x equals to 3 or x to, a, to 3 from the left hand side, my function is approaching the value 2. On the other hand, as x is approaching 3 from the right hand side, my function is approaching the value Four. So since the left hand limit and the right hand limit for the function f of x are not the same, you will have to conclude that limit x tends to 3 f of x does not exist. I hope it is clear. The reason limit x tends to 3 for this function does not exist is because when you are approaching the value x equals to 3 from the right hand side, your function is approaching 4 whereas when you are approaching 3 from the left hand side on the x axis, your function is only approaching the value 2. Since the left hand side limit and the right hand side limit do not coincide, they are different, you will have to conclude that limit x tends to 3 f of x does not exist.